I'm Dr. Scott Spear and you're watching the Plastic Surgery Channel. Deanne Moore and welcome to Plastic Surgery News. Thank you for joining us today. In this week's report, find out how a new procedure can give women the lift they've been looking for without needing a bra. And learn how the downturn in the economy has created a downturn in plastic surgery and divorce too. We'll also take a look at what happens when plastic surgery patients go too far. All that coming up, but first, a recent survey in the UK revealed that a staggering 83% of women would like liposuction. Liposuction is still the most popular cosmetic procedure among Brits, and cosmetic surgery as a whole is catching on with men more than ever before. Survey results showed that 46.2% of men said that they would consider cosmetic surgery, compared to 45.5% of women. The findings indicate that men are starting to feel the same type of societal pressure about their body image as women have for years. In the U.S., liposuction was the third most popular surgical cosmetic procedure in 2008 behind breast augmentation and nose reshaping, according to data from the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. However, liposuction procedures were down nearly 20% overall from the previous year, from 302,000 procedures in 2007 to only 245,000 in 2008. Next in the news, three Washington state residents have been indicted in a crackdown on unlicensed cosmetic surgery practices. One of the defendants, Zen Faith He, is accused of injecting customers at the Natural Beauty Salon with bogus Botox and Restylane imported from China. Several women suffered severe allergic reactions and at least one patient required reconstructive surgery. If convicted, he could face up to three years in prison. In a separate case, two others were indicted in the bribery of a public official for offering $800 to a Federal Food and Drug Administration inspector to disregard an imported skin treatment device that was emitting unknown levels of toxic radiation. The couple own and operate the Crystal Nails Beauty Salon in Burien, Washington. If convicted, they could face up to 15 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. Investigation in the case is ongoing. Coming up next, find out about a new procedure that reduces sagging after breast reduction surgery. But first, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Adams, and you're watching the Plastic Surgery Channel. Last year, more than 350,000 women decided to get breast augmentation. It helped me understand what my body would be like after the surgery. And speaking of hard fats, let's talk about your olfactory organ. So a prospective patient, when they're looking to have surgery, must always understand that every single surgical procedure has its import and they must be concerned with the quality that's being delivered to them. 